Morning, morning, everybody. Michelle is here. Guess what? Michelle is here. What? <laughs> ah, it's May the 26th, 2024 on a Sunday. Sunday? Yep, Sunday. So I'm up and at it doing my routines for this morning on my favorite. Sundays are just a, a good mellow day for me. And it usually is for others. A lot of people are a little bit more laid back, I think, on Sundays and kind of relaxing and enjoying each other, I hope, or enjoying themselves, I hope, or doing whatever it takes to bring joy and enthusiasm into their life. You know, that's what I do all day long and um, think about certain things in a certain way. And let me tell you how I spend a lot of my time. I do, I do spend a lot of my time thinking about others. I really, really do. I spend time thinking about others because I know there's a lot of people suffering. Some are suffering silently and some are openly sharing their experiences on the social media platforms or in various forms, you know, to, uh, to bring attention to their, their plights, their perils their problems, you know, and, they, and a lot of people are just looking for solutions and looking for this or that and the other. And I feel, I, and I, and um, I know that I can't help a lot of people. I know that. And uh, I made that clear and effective with myself so I don't get myself overwhelmed about it. Because a lot of people have to experience uh, mistakes. Uh, they have to experience um, trial and errors and you know they have to go through that process and you know I know better not to interfere unless it's something you know life-threatening that's you know that I could you know help someone you know I mean I've been in the field of as a first responder to help people for decades of my life and I just know that you can't help everybody and so that, that makes me, that does bring sadness to me because I know a lot of people are struggling. I mean, struggling. And a lot of it is, uh, you know, I hate, you know, it's, this is not being judgmental, but it's, a lot of it is self-created, but that is part of developing. You do create your own shit, you know what I mean? You do put yourself in your own experiences. You do that. You know, but a lot of people just need need guidance. You know, a lot of people do need guidance as to how to not make the same type of mistakes over and over and over again. You know, you're supposed to make mistakes, but not the same ones over and over and over again. You know, so it does bring sadness to me when I really recognize that some people are just in a spin, a spin, a spin, a spin. You know, like a spin cycle, and they're not gonna be able to get out of it. You know, and, I, and it's going to be, and it'll, it'll be dangerous for me to attempt to go in to save them. Think about it. Something's spinning. You know, how am I going to get in there to help them? And that's just being, you know, uh, just giving you some, some, something to contemplate, you know, be, via metaphors and being figurative in your thinking. So th that's what happened this morning. You know, I got up. You know, and um, I felt some sadness. And so the first thing I usually do is, okay, make sure that's not, is, is there any reason for me to be sad? And, um, you know, make sure I clear that up about myself. And, and no, and, it, and then I started thinking about people, thinking about certain people and, and the, uh, the self-created problems they created for themselves, you know, and how, um, you know, they're going to, see, what, what usually happens when people, uh, create certain self-created problems from themselves, they're going to quickly, quickly, quickly attempt to uh, save face, you know, and uh, get out and say, no, no, you know, and, you know, do be very, very defensive about it instead of, you know, being reflective. And we all do that. I mean, I'm sure I do the same thing, you know, when you make a, uh, uh, when you make mistakes, you know, where, you know, you know, I mean, you make mistake <clears throat> you make the mistakes when you knew you were making the mistakes but you were arrogant and cocky and you didn't want to change it and then you, when you get the outcome 
you know, whew. So, I like, I like to provide guidance. I like to provide support to people, not, you know, and not literal. I mean, you know, a lot of people say, well, when you say support, they always think about finances, you know. No, <laughs> no, no, no. That's not what I'm talking about. Um, but I mean, encourage people, you know, and uh, give them the room to uh, develop and grow and see if they can catch their mistakes. And a lot of people don't want to do that. They just think, okay, I I know all. I know, you know, I'm I'm all this. I'm all that. You know, um, I know what I'm talking about. You know, and you know, and I run into that every every time I deal with people on a on certain on a certain relationship with people. You will always have those kind of battles where people are, you know, uh, protecting their ego. I told you that. You know, you know, hey, I know what I'm doing. I'm the expert here. You know, I know this, I know that, and you know, and you and you can barely get in to engage in that conversation to the to help that person to see something something else may be considered just as valid. You know, just just having a conversation and a discussion, and that usually happens to people when you know they are developing and not recognizing that you know. Um, sometimes you can be blinded by your own light. You really can. And that's why it's so important to understand why you're doing something and what's the benefits for you of doing it. Now, if you're honest and say, hey, I'm doing this because I want to make a lot of money, I want to make millions and billions of dollars, understand the pitfalls of that. Just because no one's necessarily earning all of that. There's a lot of smoke and mirrors with things. You know, a lot of people are, are broke, okay? But they're not going to tell you that. They're not going to display that. They're just going to keep it. They're just going to keep that facade going and going and going until it finally collapses, and that's where we're headed. We're headed for a collapse, and that's literally, figuratively, and metaphorically, you know. And a lot of people have been warned about it. We've been warned so it's, it ought to not be surprised, but it still makes me sad. You know, it makes me sad when people do finally collapse, you know, you know, cause their own implosion because of their thinking and their arrogance and their cockiness and their know-it-allness. They think they know it all. And so sometimes you run into that with people you love. Sometimes you run into that with your children you know, uh, maybe your spouse, your significant other. Sometimes you just got to step out of the way and not interfere. It's hard. It is extremely hard, especially when you care. And I care a lot about people, especially if, if you know, if you're my, if you are interacting with me in some form or fashion, I care about you. Otherwise, I would not bother and trust me. When I say that, when I don't want to be bothered, I do not want to be bothered. And I do not put myself in situations where that is ever compromised, okay? I know the type of company I want to keep, okay? I know that. And it's, it's it, you know, the circle is very small, okay, for a reason, okay? And so every now and then I'll have to replace people. You know, I have someone, I'll have somebody in the circle. And sometimes you have to replace those people. You have to, you know, let them, let them go and then replace it with someone else. You know, as you're exchanging and going through your life. And I'm not talking necessarily uh, romantically and this and that and the other. It's just the, the associations that we need to socialize together. We all need to socialize in some fashion or form. But it has to be the appropriate socializing, you know, where you're not feeling anxiety and, and you know, feeling, and, and I told you that anxiety sometimes can be coming from superficiality. You're in a group of people that are superficial and you know deep down in your innermost being that they may not give a damn about you. That may be the reality that some may face. And that's where you have the free will to say, okay, I don't need to deal, deal with that. You know, a lot of people are attempting to grow their businesses start their businesses, create something, develop something, 
And that requires interacting with people, human beings, you know, it does. And because you have to get some, you need some assistance with helping to grow stuff to, you know, to build it. You know, you need to go to the so-called experts, you know, and that's difficult for a lot of people. So that's why I said be very cautious of people offering you free stuff. Nothing is free. You're going to end up paying out, you know, just to do the things they claim is free. You know, you're going to lose money. You're going to win money. You know, it's, it's going to, you know, money has to be exchanged in any way. It's energy, you know. You know, it goes from one hand to another. That's just, that's how it ought to flow. But a lot of people are hoarding it. Okay, and, that, and that's where it causes the imbalance. So, I do feel some sadness for, you know, people in general, just in general. You know, because I look at the big picture. And I know, like I said, I know people don't have it like that. No matter what they say on the social media platform, I know people do not have it like that. Okay. Uh, but there's just a lot of um, manipulation, deception, and people are just, you know, everybody's trying to win, 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 and not everyone can win, win, win. And it, it, it's, it's, like I said, it's sad. Uh, I talked about something a while ago, and, I, and it was brought up again. What does it mean by suspending your eagles, you know? And basically, you know, you just want to strip yourself of what you, who you think you are. You know, just strip all of those titles and labels you've uh, placed on yourself. Because those are burdens, by the way. <laughs> you place all these labeling on yourself. Those are burdens. A lot of people see those as assets. You know, because anybody can get out there and, you know, grab their crotch and claim, you know, claim this and that and the other. Okay? Anyone can do that. Anyone can put numbers out there and claim that's, that's their worth. Anyone can put out reports and claim those are the, the, the accurate um, analysis of blah, 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 blah. Anyone can do that. And it's been done for, for, for decades, almost close to maybe over 100 years of it, you know, since, we, since the inception of so-called cash and assets and liability and uh, accounting. And this, you know, the, it, the, it doesn't add up. <laughs> and it hasn't it hasn't added up for for almost hundreds of years so so pay attention to that just pay attention and um and if you are feeling social anxiety you're feeling social anxiety for a reason okay your body usually is responding for a reason and it has nothing to do with you making it as though it's something wrong with you no, maybe it's not maybe it's just warnings if you're feeling social anxiety, maybe that's a warning for you. That you may need to reevaluate why you're feeling that way. Just be gentle and kind with yourself about all of that stuff. And disregard people claiming that that's a negative to have social anxiety. Or that's a, it's a negative. That, that may be the way your body has to get your attention. You know, you know some people have certain other physical ailments. You know, that could be because... You, you are probably paying more attention to what's going on outside of you instead of worrying about what's going on inside of you and, and recognizing that your body is warning you. Maybe you don't need to be with that crowd of people. Maybe you don't need to go to that party. You know, maybe you don't need to go to that business function or business uh, function, I'm sorry, that conference, uh, that uh, event. Maybe you don't need to go. I knew... Uh, in my 40s, early 40s, that um, my lifestyle of running from club to club to club to club to event, 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 event was that was it was done. I've, I had enough of it. I was at every every um, uh, gay event, you know, back in the day, you know, where I used to hang out in um, in in the gay bars and um, going to the gay events. You know, that happened year after year after year in every city. I knew about all the city events of when it relates to the, the at, at, at that time when I was growing up, they, they called it alternative lifestyle. Now they have all of these um, acronyms to, to, to uh, identify, 
yeah, I got stuff, something going on in the kitchen. I have to pay attention to that. So pay attention to what your body is saying to you. Maybe it's time to stop certain events. Maybe you shouldn't be hosting this party. Maybe you shouldn't be supporting that cause. Maybe you need to uh, scale back on your activism, you know, act, you know how you're uh, advocating. Maybe you just need to scale back on certain events that you place yourself in. Because I knew some, I know a lot of people that were just heading all type of hosting events, all involving all parties all over the country. Not over the country, but more so all over. Well, yeah, most in most major metro cities, you know, they were throwing parties here, throwing parties there, throwing events here. And um, when people would be around this person, you know, they didn't pick up what I was picking up. This person, when this person would get with me, they would be, I knew they were depressed. But I was put, I, you know, but they had to put on this face and, you know, and, 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 and uh, because this person didn't want to disappoint people. And, uh, and then, you know, what happens usually when you are not paying attention to those signs is that you start to not perform as, as you were and people get disappointed. I'm going to talk about that too at some point about how people get disappointed in entertainers, uh, presenters, hosters, because they, don't, because they don't understand that people get tired and people are aging. And sometimes people need to, yeah, sometimes people do need to retire, okay, from wh whatever they're doing. Absolutely. And, and I recognize when it was time for me. So we all have to individually, you know, take responsibility and accountability for our, our well-being, especially especially our consciousness. Ooh, wow. You know, and that, and that makes me sad as well, extremely, because a lot of people are causing damage to their consciousness and they're not gonna be able to recover. Not at all. Mm -mm, not at all. So, pay attention to your, the signs that are that's developing in your life. You know, if you find yourself feeling some type of social anxiety, you ought to be, to be able, I mean, I'm gonna be very honest with you, but you need to manage it, of course, but there's a reason for people having these kind of social anxieties and all this other stuff happening. There's a reason for it, but you need to be gentle and kind with yourself as you are attempting to uncover it and, and, and figure out, okay, okay, I get it but no one has to know, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and share that with you this morning. I got something going on in the kitchen. I need to put my focus and attention on that, but I'm gonna go ahead and send peace and love all over the stars and moon and mountains. It's about universal love. Trust me, I'll be back. <laughs>